I made the last video and I was gonna make a video in between this one and the last one but I I'm a little bit gun shy about making content again given how long it's been since I've actually made a legitimate video you know one of my essays that I have on my channel I'm still gonna make that video but I figured since I wasn't doing anything else I might as well go back to playing Shin Megami Tensei 4 and I think it's a bit fun I've been playing JRPGs ever since before I realized what a JRPG was, before I realized Pokemon was an RPG. That's how long I've been playing them. But I never really got into RPGs as heavy as I am now until I played Final Fantasy VII. I was 16 years old, so about 10 years ago now. I loved it. I played six right behind it. Um, to, to be fair, I still haven't finished playing six at all. And every time I play the game, I have to restart because I'm never playing on the same hardware. I'm never playing on the same. <laughs> I'm just never playing the same version of the game. But I got some comments on uh, the last video that I wanted to to take a look at real quick because it's really going to inform how I play the game from here on out. One by Klish104, which I actually pinned because it's aimed towards new players. Okay, so it says your magic stats are really good. I recommend to upgrade four magic and one agility. It also says you're gonna spend a lot of time running in the same place, grinding and doing side quests. Uh, the game has the most forgiving, the most unforgiving first dungeon ever, but the game will be easier afterwards. And when he says first dungeon, I wonder if he means this training dungeon or like the dungeon afterwards, like the first real dungeon. The boss of the game will be a pain in the ass, so keep grinding and fuse more demons. Got it. You won't get any maka from defeating enemies, so get the fundraise app so you can talk to demons and get maka. Now that's something I was actually wondering when I was playing the last time. Why I wasn't getting any money from fighting these demons, but there it goes. Buff and debuff skills can be stacked. That's great. Then you got Ricey Boy who said, try to, uh, as far as scouting demons, uh, try to refuse the demon once but preferably no more than twice. Try to give the demon what they want one or two times. Cheat can also work, but that relies on RNG. Ending talks does not necessarily mean you will fight the demon. If you do the two above steps and then talks end, they will usually join you. In every negotiation, the demon will ask you a few questions. The demon will react basically differently based on RNG, but some responses, but some responses reliably work better than others. Uh, keep in mind that there's a lot of RNG involved, so there will be some trial and error. So, if you watched the last video, then it's uh, blatantly obvious that I am playing on an emulator. Although it is a backup, I don't have a 3DS anymore, um, so this is the only way that I can experience the game, which you know, it should, shouldn't be an issue. My goal here is to play the game as if I was playing on original hardware, and that means I have to establish some ground rules. Uh, I think the most prescient rule that I have to establish is uh, to not utilize any functions of the emulator in order to make it easier on myself. The main thing that means is that if I want to save scum, uh, which I don't think I do, but if I want to, I would have to utilize the in-game save function, not the save state system. However, I am going to be using the save state system in order to create a point from which I can continue the next time I record, and that's pretty much it. But everything else is gonna be done inside the game in order to make it as close to the 3DS experience as possible. I'm also gonna be taking some viewer feedback, basically uh, trying to learn not only how this game specifically works, but how the, how the main series works overall. Um, because I think the ultimate goal uh, of me playing this game and one of the reasons I really wanted to play it as well is because I want to prime myself for when Nocturne HD comes out. I'm thinking about either playing that on stream or uh, making a series of videos of myself playing it. You know, if I can actually buy myself a capture card, which I don't have right now, but hopefully by the time that gets released, I'll be able to get one. Also, in between making this video and making the last one, I found out that Persona 5 Scramble is officially confirmed to be getting a Western English release. So excited for that. I actually played that game on my JP account. It didn't take long for me to realize that that game had heavy spoilers for Persona 5, which I haven't completed yet. So I dipped out of there and I'm probably gonna play that demo as soon as I get finished playing Persona 5. So with all that being said, 
I think it's time to get started. By the way, you guys, I hope you like my sweater. I actually appropriated this from my mother. And unless she's willing to come to my apartment to get it back, I'm not gonna give it back because I think the shit is actually kind of fresh and it's comfortable. So, yeah. I'll give it back if she asks, but until then, I'm I'm just gonna keep the shit. I know I said earlier that I was gonna use save states in order to resume where I left off, but where I left off was um, being sent back to Karan after a series of cascading failures. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if I can do better. As you can see, I already have 51 minutes in this game, so let's get started. So the sign says, I really like that. Defeat demons inside. No. It's gotta slay some demons, huh? Uh, foo foo. The hit fairy, weak. Got it. I will say this, the press turn system, in these Megami Tensei games is it's great. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the um the system in Mario RPGs. Uh where if you if you hit if you hit your attack button at the exact right time, uh you're able to get pretty much a follow-up attack. Although um I know it's called, like, I know what the system is called, but it doesn't seem to work the same way it does in Persona. And I know I promised that I wouldn't do comparisons as much, and I'll try to stay stay true to that word. Oh, what is... Oh, I'm back in the second stratum. Can I go back? I cannot. Should I go for it? I'm gonna go for it. Bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin at Oh my god. Why can't I time those? Cause Centaur is almost out of out of MP. Oh. That's cool. Oh, that's a critical hit. Oh. Yes. Am I going to get any MP items though? Cuz I think I feel like that's what I really need in order to in order to succeed at this game. Like, hopefully I can find out what uh, what restores MP in this game, outside of like resting, um, stuff like that. A new area. Uh oh. I. <laughs> okay. At least it wasn't. At least it wasn't a like a preemptive attack. Is this thing weak to Zan? Let's see. Oh, it repels. How many of these do I have to kill? Oh no. I got him. Oh, I got him good. Wait a minute. I think I figured it out. Wait. If, if I attack a weakness and my character starts smirking, is that when I get the extra turn? Or is it when I attack the weakness in general? That's something I gotta figure out. Distribute points to the stats that you wish to increase. So, um, I think I'm gonna go with um, that one guy's advice and really put like points into magic um, and agility. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go with that. 
I think because I tend to lean toward magical builds anyway when I'm playing RPGs, so I think I think that's a good way to go. I got at points. His hidden power hath come forth. Critical wave. Paint thyself with the power of demons. Ram slice, critical wave. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Burrows. Can I get a nap? Um, demon analyze. Installs a function that allows you to view enemy demons' abilities. Increases the MP cost of demon skills by one. Nice. Scout gift. Demons befriended through the scout skill will give you an item. Negotiate adds a top skill to negotiate a ceasefire with demons. Fundraise adds a skill to ask a demon for Maka during battle. Okay, so I had a comment that said, you don't get Maka from demons just by fighting them, but you can get Maka by talking to them with a certain app. And I think this might be that app. So I'm wondering if I should go with fundraise right now or get it a little bit later. I think, I think I'm going to go with fundraise for now. Since I'm early on in the game, um, to the point where I can experiment with finding out what the demon's weaknesses are, I think it'll be more beneficial for me right now to have a way to get money so that I can get like items and stuff early on in the game. So, yeah, what's this? Paths are meant to be cut open. If you come across a new wall and find yourself lost, training against the wall is one idea. It may even lead to a new path. So the sign says, hint, hint. Some walls can be destroyed by attacking with X from a set direction. Uh oh. There's a demon behind me. I know it. Ow! Damn it. Oh, their MP gets restored when they level up. That's great. That's wonderful. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, I can attack both at once? Let's see. Okay. Skill. Attack. Let's see if this one is um, affected by, um, let's see. Ooh, a critical hit. Missed. Let me see. Ooh. <laughs> what is that? How is that pronounced? Is that is that Fushi or Fuxies or <laughs> Fuhees? I don't know. How is that pronounced? Hey. Whoop. God, I hate that. Oh no. Revival Leaf. Yeah, because I because I need her back. Jesus. What do I do? What do I do? Did I just waste a revival bead? Ah. Uh... I need all four. 
So, whatever it takes. Can I use... So, I could... Okay, so I can use skills outside of, outside of battle, too. That's good. Cool. Alright, what am I doing? I'm going up. Oh, it's these guys. Hell no. Wait. Be careful. Okay. Oh my god. I don't feel like I fought this guy before. Oh man. Oh, I should have done that from the start. Oh, am I out? Okay. Look, Master, you found something interesting. All apprentices, this is Hope speaking. Your training session has come to an end. Thank God. It would seem someone has beaten me to the finish line. Oh, I was so close to. Return to Aquila Plaza at once. Got him. So at least Flynn could come back after after getting knocked out in battle. That's good because honestly, this game is pretty stressful. There's another relic. Wait, hold on. No, there's not a door here. I forgot how to get back. Oh no! Ah, oh, he missed. Thank goodness. <sighs> Sheesh. Wait, is that what slime looks like in this game? Wow. Man, am I glad I have a healer on this team? <laughs> I shall make Critical Wave into Aguilao. Yes. Wait. Yes. I think I'm going to put points into magic again. Agility again, two. Um, and then I'm going to do strength because I do want to be able to hold up physically. Um, luck for drops and more magic. Yes. Do I have any? So I can't revive the other demon. I cannot revive Centaur yet. Which to be. Got him! Alright, where's my exit though? Is it? Oh. What is it, Princess? Tis not my role to give guidance to. But since you've come this far, I'm willing to share a few truths if you are of a mind to hear them. Okay, yeah. 
Mystic relics can be excavated at the same location many times, endlessly. For reasons unknown, the same relic may appear again after some time has passed. They are mystic indeed. I just want to know how to get the hell out of here. Oh. Yosha. Whew. Wow. That was, uh... At least I did better than last time. As far as battles go. I still need to get the timing of, like, the preemptive attack, though. So. Commander, shall I assume that your order to return means someone has completed the quest? Regardless of what you are no doubt thinking, I was not the victor. First place was him. Oh yes. I'll be needing that ring back. It seems you've got the makings of a real samurai. Congratulations on completing the quest. My master got first place. Wait till I tell the other burrows. What a press. I'd wager she could don an iron helmet and you wouldn't notice the difference. <laughs> Why don't you come too? The rooftop view of the eastern kingdom of Mikado is breathtaking. Let me know when you fill up for it. I'll be waiting here. Let's all go there together. I'll be fighting in Naruto until he fills up for us. Is that Troy Baker? I really need to get some items. Please feel free to let me know. I will buy them from you with a wholehearted price. I have relics. Please allow me to appraise those for you. Nice. Welcome, blessed samurai. What have you to sell? Um. Might there be anything else I can? How about this item here? Definitely need more of these. Thank you very much. Oh. How about this item here? I kind of want to get my hands on as many of these as I, I as many revival leaves as I can. Thank you very much. How about this item here? Might there be anything else I can... What have you to sell? Relics, right? No? Okay. Might there be anything else I can assist you with? Please be careful on your way. I think this samurai routine suits me. I too feel honored to have been chosen as a samurai. Okay, so these are definitely the two guys. <clears throat> so these are the two guys who are in the intro saying, hey, do you remember me? My name is Jonathan and my name uh, is Walter. Maybe this is bait. Like, maybe I'm just being crazy, but I have a feeling that one or both of these guys have the potential to turn into an antagonist. I don't know. What about you, Flynn? It comes naturally to me. It's a worthy duty. Oh, so you share my view. I suspect we may become great friends. It's as if the whole Eastern Kingdom of Mikado is floating on the clouds. That has to be Troy Baker, right? It sounds just like this dude sounds just like Kanji. Okay, oh, okay. <clears throat> He's actually voiced by Matthew Mercer. So, my bad. You will help me this time, right? I think you should come with me. I think something that's clear to me right now, just off the just based on what I know so far, Good is morning. that each of these guys is representing a different pool, right? When I when I went to check the when I went to check the witty, or when I went to check the wiki, um, to see who Walter's voice actor is, I saw that he represents chaos. So is Jonathan like, like order, like order and chaos? It's fairly interesting. Hmm? What is it? You're giving me the strangest look. Good morning. 
we have a message from the commander. He's asked all princesses to report to Case Tavern in Aquila Plaza. Okay. Walter and I shall meet you there. Okay. I have the strange sensation that I'm going to end up in another dungeon. You know? So I should probably buy some more items. You know, just in case... Just in case one of my demons gets knocked out. Case Tavern? Okay. Samurai, huh? It's a sign that we're fully fledged samurai now. Ah, fresh faces. Are you this year's apprentices? Am I tripping or does this dude look like Kurt Russell? This dude looks like Snake Pliskin. 100%. <laughs> It will be proven to you the innate superiority of you luxurers. I really, really don't like this guy. Hopefully one day when VR is a really big thing, we'll be able to slap video game characters we don't like. Just complete the three quests and return to Kay's Cavern. Kay's Tavern. Oh me. I'm worried about those two. So I'll be attempting to challenge quests as well. If everyone's doing it, far be it from me to decline. What's her deal? She hasn't really contributed much. What's her deal? Challenge quests are only registered to the list. So if you don't accept it, the quest doesn't count as being started. I can explain how to accept them if you want. Need me to tell you? Let's go. Challenge quests more than those, or challenge quests other than those where you must turn in items, such as those where you must slay certain demons, must be accepted from the list. Select quests from the menu screen and then select challenge quests. Did you get all that? I did. Slay Orthrus. Yeah. You're not done accepting the challenge quest. During challenge, qu during challenge quests, normal quests will be put on hold. If you wish to proceed with normal quests, you are free to abandon the current. You are free to abandon the current challenge quest at any time. Also, in regards to challenge quest rewards, you already have the maximum allowed. I mean, if you already have the maximum allowed number of that item, you will not be able to obtain it. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end this episode here. And the reason being, I've actually been playing longer than I was in the original video. So although I didn't do that much in this video, I feel like I got a better grasp on how the game actually works. I feel like I have a better handle on the battle system itself. And I also feel like I'm starting to get into a story a little bit, but I want to make these episodes focused on various different things. Um, and I think the challenge quests are a good way to like fill up an episode. So I'm going to leave it here and we're going to pick this up in the next video. We're going to complete those challenge quests and see what happens afterwards. So made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Peace.